everybody. This is Ali Neander speaking to you from Guitar Point Vintage Guitars in Maintal, Germany. And today uh, we have a really rare guitar. It's a 1989 Stevens guitar. Well, who, what is this, a Stevens guitar? Well, it's, I would say it's one of the early boutique guitars. It's from 1989 and uh, St Stevens, what's his first name? I don't know. But anyway, the, the Luthier was uh, uh, one of the very early luthiers of the F uh, Fender Custom Shop um, and he uh, had his own guitar line and that was distributed through Fender through the early days of the Fender uh, Custom Shop. So it's kind of a Fender-ish, uh, Fender Gibson something. It's Of course the, the, the way it's made is pretty much like a Les Paul. It has a maple top, mahogany body, mahogany neck and and if you look at some of the uh, later years boutique guitars that have uh, that resemble Les Pauls, they all pretty much look like that. Like for instance, uh, the Gustafsson or McInter for all these kind of guitars. And if you look closely at these guitars, you might know where they come from. So this is one of the really uh, early uh, examples. And it's a great guitar. It's, it's not exactly like a Les Paul, of course. It, the, the, the character is kind of in between, I would say, but, but it has a very broad and sweet and you know cultivated sound. And it also rocks. It, it, you know, it has some nice features like the the different position of the pickup, so on, which of course makes the sound uh, a little more uh, individual. It's not like a strict copy of Les Paul. It's an own guitar, and it's very well made. And this is one of the few examples. I think back it, back in the late '80s, around 30 of these guitars were made, and. Uh, uh, he's now making them again, but the original ones from the late 80s are really valuable, really collectible, and that's one of those. It's a 1989 <coughs> Stevens, whatever the model uh, name is, and this is Ali Neander from Guitar Point Vintage Guitars in Mindtel, Germany. Thank you. Bye-bye.